chances are you've probably had a bad haircut before. Whether the barber cut it too short, or they got a different cut on accident, you've probably had a fuck up in your life that you've been embarrassed over. But, we can always be safe in knowing that it was just a mistake. Right? Well, apparently not. Because some people just decide to get bad haircuts on purpose. There are people walking around with these haircuts, with these haircuts, and they decided that it was a good idea to get them. So, let's look at these haircuts and see which one's the worst. First off, we got the undercut. Now, generally I'm putting this at the bottom of the list because most of the time, this isn't really too bad. All right, if you just get a simple shave off the sides, leave a little bit on top, it's not that bad. You get a pretty nice, uh, classy haircut and everything's all good. But sometimes you just gotta go a little bit more and that's when you look like an idiot, all right? You know, case in point, uh, Brendan Urie of Panic at the Disco, all right? I'm sorry, but this is fucking weird. All right? And because he's got this tall ass haircut, it makes his forehead look massive. You know? If my hair stuck up like this, you'd notice my forehead. All right? Next up on the list, we got the Edgar cut. Now, honestly, I just want to say that this one uh, looks stupid. I don't entirely know where this thing came from, but uh, it doesn't look good. I mean, honestly, it looks like they were in the middle of getting a haircut, but they just quit in the middle of doing it. Like they, they initially had, you know, sort of just regular old bangs and then just, they left in the middle of getting their hair cut. Now they just have this thing and I don't entirely know why anyone wants it. Now, surprisingly, the Edgar cut has been uh, pretty damn popular in recent years. I don't entirely know why, but there have been many more haircuts that have also been popular. One of which I'm gonna talk about now, and that's the goddamn mullet, all right? I don't know entirely how this thing became popular, but it has. One thing I find very interesting about the mullet is that, um, you know, somehow it has both become likened by, uh, you know, jocks and goths. Somehow, both of these uh, social statuses seem to really love this god-awful haircut. I don't get it. You look like an idiot. Like, dear God, all right, if you're gonna do something, make up your goddamn mind. I feel like, I feel, like, this and the Edgar cut kind of have something in common, because looking at it, you know, both of them just can't make up their goddamn mind, all right? With the Edgar cut, you look at it and you say, well, why don't you just get some normal goddamned bangs, like a normal person, all right? Or, how about you just not get them at all, all right? Don't settle for this weird thing where you look like, um, let's just say you look like, uh, you know, you look like you would be used as a prop in a sex ed class, all right? And, you know, kind of the same thing goes with the mullet. You look here and, you know, it's just this, I feel like you just can't make up your mind. Now, I will admit that the, the mullet has seen some pretty good improvements over the years. It used to be much stupider and now it has uh, tamed down a little bit, but it is still, it still just looks goofy, all right? Just please, dear God, make up your mind and stop cutting your own hair. Next up, we got the man bun. Now, this haircut just straight up infuriates me, all right? It pisses me off, all right? We have gone even further than the mullet and the Edgar cut to the point where this person really can't make up their goddamn mind. I mean, the man bun is just like you were too lazy to get a haircut, you know? You don't wanna have long hair, but you're too lazy to cut it. So you just keep it in this perpetual bun. Like, dear God, just get a fucking a buzz cut, realistically. Like, it doesn't look any more, you know, a buzz cut doesn't look any more stylish than a man bun. And on top of it, you don't have to spend as much time washing your hair. I don't, I just simply do not get what the point in the man bun is. Now a ponytail, that makes a bit of reasonable sense. It's much easier to do and it's still pretty compactful, but there are genuinely people who just walk around with a man bun on a daily basis and I don't get it. Just stop it, all right? It's fucking stupid. Now at this point, all the haircuts that we've been talking about have been intentional, all right? And they've just been regular old normal haircuts, you know, nothing too odd. But now we're gonna be getting into some more uh, interesting grounds, let's say. Starting with the Peter Gabriel. Um, now, I don't really know where to begin with this. Uh, we've just kind of gotten some, uh, uh, just some hair, 
you know, I don't entirely know what this man was doing when he decided to get it, but we're just, we're living with the consequences of it, and we just have to deal with this. Now, I will give uh, Mr. Peter some benefit of the doubt, because I will say that his haircut is uh, much funnier and a bit more uh, lighthearted, I would say, you know? Unlike the man bun, where it gives me the urge to strangle whoever has it, all right? Uh, the Peter Gabriel doesn't really make me want to do that. So I will give Mr. Peter here uh, a quick little applaud because this man has uh, not created any homicidal tendencies inside of me. Next up on the list of worst haircuts ever, we have the alternative haircut. Now, again, uh, I just think you're a jackass if you do this, all right? I just want to... Instead of talking about these uh, haircuts, I'm just gonna say this. Uh, uh, nobody cares, all right? No one cares. Nobody cares. No one cares. No one cares about your stupid, dumb fuck haircut. And we all know you just got it because you wanted to stand out, all right? Let's be honest, no one's getting this haircut because, you know, they find it comfortable or they actually like it. They're doing it as an aesthetic. And for you, uh, stop it. No one cares. Just get a normal haircut. By the way, do you like what's uh, going on back here? I don't really, I don't know if this is working super well, but I, I hope that, uh, you know, we've got something pretty good going on here. All right, before we get to the uh, worst haircut ever, I just want to give you a quick honorable mention. Um... If you have this haircut, you look like a 12-year-old, all right? I don't think anyone over the age of 13 should have this, so I just wanted to say that if there are any 11-year-olds watching this, then uh, it's completely normal for you to have this haircut, but anyone older, uh, grow up. All right, we finally made it to the worst haircut ever. Now, what exactly is it? Well, uh, gotta be honest, we're going to be revisiting a band we just talked about earlier with uh, Phil Collins. Now, uh, normally when someone is uh, going bald, I don't, you know, I don't think we can automatically assume that's bad. And honestly, uh, when you see someone with balding hair, most of the time, it's not that bad. You know, obviously they're balding. It's not perfect. It would be much better if they just had a full head of hair or if they had shaved it all off. But it's not that bad. However, when you decide just to, uh, you know, grow it out, what the fuck? This... This... is a war crime. You are a war criminal, alright? You have committed war against style, and eyes, and taste, and you will be executed, alright? Let me get this straight, this is the worst haircut ever, alright? So, yeah, I just wanted to say that. These are some pretty bad haircuts. All right, well, I'm dodging these vlogs. Uh, we've looked at some pretty bad haircuts. Now, I will say, I do have some good news because luckily if you, if you have a bad haircut out there, if you decided to get the goddamn Edgar cut, don't worry because it'll all be over. You know, one of the good things about hair is that even if it sucks, you can always just change it. So, you know, that's just what I have to say. We've got some pretty bad haircuts. If you have these, then uh, <laughs> get rid of them. Um, and if there are any bad haircuts I haven't shown you, then, uh, well, I would like for you to show me some of them in the comments. Anyways, I'm dodging these vlogs. You can like and subscribe to the channel if you want to. And uh, peace, man.